the CEO of Kelly was charged with criminal attempted first degree murder, but pled guilty in April of 2021 to the lesser charge of aggravated assault. He was sentenced to three years, but only served 11 months in prison and was released on March 16, 2022, less than six months ago. If Mr. Kelly served his full three year sentence, he would still be in prison today and four of our fellow citizens would still be alive. Or if our system, prosecutors, judges, everybody treated attempted murder the same way as murder, he would still be locked up. Think about it. Why are we giving a benefit to defendants who attempt to kill someone, they want to kill them, but somehow the victim survives and then the defendant benefits from it? So instead of life in prison for murder, because the victim didn't die, he's out in 11 months. Really? Posted all this, my rant on social media, uh, 13th juror comment of the day. Um, Mike, comparing attempted murder with murder, Mike says, I've always believed that attempted is the same. You shouldn't get less time because you failed to achieve your goal or the EMTs did a great job. Let me bring back in the think tank. I'll begin with Eklund Mercy. To me, there's no difference between attempted murder and murder. Our system should treat them exactly the same. Eklund, what do they're, you think? They're absolutely different. Attempted, nobody. Completed, absolute body. So that is why they're different. And this defendant, he pled to aggravated assault. He was charged with attempted murder, but he pled to aggravated assault. Well, I blame assault. the prosecutor for so offering and that. It's not, it's not, because that is that is their power, and they have the right to negotiate with with defense counsel, it's a part of judicial economy. Is that is how our system works? So unfortunately, um, he may have committed afterwards. But to say that oh um, he should be charged with murder when there's no bodies, yes, I I do not agree with that. Carmen, I, I look at this and I, I think about it. like if. If it was a murder case, right? If he, if 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 the victim didn't survive, there's no way a prosecutor would negotiate something where the guy gets out in 11 months. Why should criminal defendants get a benefit when their victim somehow, some way, survives the attempt to take their life? Vinny, I I would agree, except that we don't know the facts of this underlying offense, right? And so generally when you reduce a case, and I'd like to talk about the three years, not the 11 months, when you reduce a case and then offer three years to somebody you know is going to get out before that time, I have to believe that the facts bore that out. It's hard to understand from my perspective without those facts, how you reduce a, an attempted uh, murder to an aggravated assault and then add three or offer three years to a defendant yeah. like that. I mean, obviously- I I gotta cut you off, Carmen. Suggested. I gotta cut you off because I gotta give Marie just 10 seconds because that's all we have left. I'm so sorry. I talked too much it's okay. tonight. It's okay. I think the prosecutors, having been one, overcharge anyway. So, yes, Carmen, how do you go from murder to assault? It's because it was never a murder in the first place, it was never an attempted murder. It was a fight. That's what happened. They always <laughs> Marie Perrin. Eklund Mercy, Carmen Rowe, unbelievable job. We'll see you again soon.